Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of September 9th to September 15, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aries, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below. That will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, so I do have a different background right now. I'm currently at my mother's house for the next uh, 10 days, more or less. So, um, yes, this is just a temporary different background. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Aries. In regards to love for this week, please, Aries. What's the energy of Aries? Spirit. All right, Aries, first card we have for you is the Three of Cups. We also have here the Page of Swords in your energy. And we have the King of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles and the Sun with the Nine of Wands. All right, let's see what's going on with you. All right, Aries, so... I do feel like your energy is this king of pentacles here, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. It feels to me like you are very focused on yourself, Aries. You're very focused on your money, your career, your work, your responsibilities. Um, I feel like you're just keeping to yourself and, you know, managing your life. Yeah, just managing your life, taking care of yourself, focusing on yourself, very kind of isolated. Your energy feels isolated. It also feels very independent with the sun card. Four of Pentacles definitely tells me that you are in self-preservation mode, self-protection mode or self-preservation mode. No, I do feel like someone is watching you here with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords. It's weird that this person is looking at you as the Three of Cups because I'm not getting that. I don't feel like you're having a party. I feel like this person is looking at you like you're having a party, like you're having a good time. Or like you're um you're with somebody. <clears throat> I don't feel like you're with anybody actually. It doesn't look like that and I don't feel like you're having a party either. But for some reason, this person feels like you are just, you know, living your living your best life, going out with people, dating other people, or just having fun. And basically, you're not worried about them. You're not thinking about them. You're not focusing on them. You're just kind of um, <clears throat> either going out and having fun or um, socializing with other people or like romantically um, dating other people. That's their perception of you. But I feel like you are in hermit mode, actually. This feels a little bit like you're in hermit mode. You're very isolated. You're very withdrawn in your energy. Um, you're very reserved. You're very focused on yourself. Um, 
yeah, it feels like you're very enclosed. I don't feel like you're out and about. You're very enclosed. Keeping to yourself. So this, percep this person's perception of you is wrong, to be honest with you. It feels wrong. Yeah. Yeah, this person's bitter about something, though. With the Five of Swords... With the Five of Swords, they're bitter about something. And with the Ace of Wands, I keep getting that same energy. This person feels like you are having a blast. They feel like you're having a blast. Like you're having the time of your life. You're, you're ecstatic. You're happy. You're um, entertained. You're having fun. Weird. I'm not sure why they look at you that way. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like they have the wrong uh, perception of you. Uh, they're making the wrong. Uh, they're sorry. They're making the wrong assumption about you, as well. All right. Let's move over to their side of the reading now. And let's take a look at um, more of their energy. Actually, let me clarify you a little bit. Because you're not really, you're not speaking. You're not really saying much um, in your energy. It feels like you're very quiet. And um, yeah, you're very quiet. You're keeping your thoughts and your feelings to yourself protecting your thoughts and your feelings as well keeping it keeping everything very private hmm. what well, can you tell me about this king of pentacles spirit connected to aries clarify king of pentacles Oh, okay. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, um, which is more of the more of that same energy that I was talking about. You're very um, you're very much to yourself. You're very much focused on yourself. Um, you're only worried about yourself. Um, you're pouring your time and energy to towards your towards your own. Um, Towards your own goals, your own projects, uh, your work, your career, things like that. And that's about it. That's about all you're doing. All right. Let's move over to your person's side of the reading now. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aries is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Aries, please, for this week? I hope the audio is okay. Hopefully you can hear me well. This room where I'm at is a lot bigger than my office. Um, the office that I have in my house. So I don't know if the audio is okay. Alright. Looking at this person's energy towards you, Aries. For the week, we have the Magician. We also have here the Seven of Cups. Interesting. We have the Ace of Wands. What in the world? Why does this person keep coming up? Uh, keep up sorry, they keep coming out with the same energy here of Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This person is really lost and confused about what's going on in your life. They're, they're way out of the loop. They're out of the loop. Out of the loop. Yeah. This person is clueless. They're completely clueless about what's going on with you. 
and what you're doing or, or what you're up to, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And I feel like they want to find out. Bottom of the deck is the justice card. So it kind of looks like this person wants to um, make amends with you. Yeah, it feels like this person wants to make amends with you or they want to make things right with you. Oh, okay. We have the five of wands here as well. So there might have been some sort of fight or argument or disagreement between the two of you. You might have shut this person out of your life or you might have blocked them. Um, but with the justice card, it does look like this person's wanting to fix things with you. And um, they want to fix things. They want to... They want to resolve whatever issues you two had with each other. And it kind of looks like they want to manifest a new beginning with you here. Or they want to manifest starting over again with you. Oh yeah, there's roosters here, by the way. Where my mom lives, there, um, there's a bunch of roosters outside. If you can hear it. All right, so Aries, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to continue in the extended reading now. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.